Tim and Tony Podcast brings you the Mild Manor Movie Review with your host, Tim and Tony. On this week's episode, we have a special guest, Tim Gavin, to help us talk about Spider-Man 2, along with everything else happening in the geek world. Are you not entertained? But tonight, we died in hell! Great Scott! You play ball like a girl! We're on a mission from God. If life uh, finds a way. I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubblegum. Okay, motherfucker. We came, we saw, we kicked its ass. All right. All right. Bringing him back for I number know. two. We've already been talking for like an hour. <laughs> <laughs> I should have just had a recording and yeah, record right. And then pick and choose from there. It's different sound bites. Uh, yeah. So it's probably been, what it's been short for us. Yeah, but we, we haven't posted anything. <laughs> no, uh, we recorded what Thursday? Yeah, Wednesday. Wednesday, our walk the line, walk hard episode. Yep. It's always a special episode. It that, is. <laughs> That we messed the audio up on. <laughs> <laughs> Which you you should be seeing this. I'm putting together a little something to show you what happened. But uh, yeah. I'm becoming an audio master again because <laughs> we we lost the audio from that episode. We have the first three minutes and then we and then recorded the last, the last 10. 10 or 15 minutes. <laughs> um, but there is video of what happened to the said <laughs> audio. And I'm not going to ruin it here for anybody. but It's pretty funny. It's hilarious, and... It's funny for everyone but Tony. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it's damning evidence for me, but... Yeah. Because I, I can't plead ignorance. Like, I don't know how... I don't know what happened. Uh, but, so, look for something coming that coming out soon. Yeah, that, we'll that might be after, after this, this one. one. All right, uh, let's jump right into it. Uh, into our first segment. Clark Kent, just a mild-mannered reporter. He doesn't want to be famous... Now make him infamous. That's one. General, haven't you ever heard of freedom of the press? Well, I'm not a cop. I'm a reporter. Gossip, rumors, this panic is too. in the streets. We're lucky. Vicky Vale. Well, I'm intrigued by Alex's giant bat story, so I... Oh, the, the right. Bat, the Batman. Nobody cares about Clark Kent taking on the Batman. It is not. I resent that. Slander is spoken. In print, it's libel. The police won't help. The press has to do the right thing. <laughs> you serious? That's like perfect for today. Yeah. <laughs> I think we were watching even uh, Superman, like the first one, or the second one, where he does the Zod thing, and uh, Luch is watching him, and he goes, that sounds familiar. <laughs> like, I haven't heard that every week. It sounds, it, like, after you listen to this podcast a ton of times, it sounds weird coming out of the movie. <laughs> out of the movie. <laughs> yeah. It, it catches your attention. Like, oh, yeah. I forgot that's what that is from. Like, I forgot. Oh, yeah. yeah. This one had two of them, like, back-to-back almost, but yeah. we split them for the intro. But All right. Uh, first up, uh, we get a first look at the Daredevil Season 3 poster. Um, yeah. What is it? Shows him, what's it say? I, I like the saying on it. Tony's blind, I forgot. Do not fear the dark. Yeah. Become it. <laughs> I didn't know I was that that blind. That blind. <laughs> um, you want me, you want me to call you an Uber? Should be driving <laughs> No, my glasses are in the car. I, I just don't oh, want to go get them. Uh, it looks good. We're going to talk about the teaser in a little bit, so yeah. might as well go to the next one. Uh, Michael B. Jordan was cast as John Clark in an upcoming Rainbow Six movie. But I'm guessing Which, not based on the game. No, the books. The books. But, and I guess but, William Defoe has played this character already, and uh, well, there was there's one other that played it in Some of All Fears. I can't remember who, but yeah, it was really, really different. Three different actors. Three different characters. Yeah. I was gonna say, man. yeah. Don't share a lot in common. No, but I mean, I, I guess I, he's not gonna be Superman <laughs> if he's taking this. I don't think he needs to be Superman. No. It'd be cool. I don't think no, but this is, so. This is his what third franchise now. If he takes this, because he's Fantastic in Four, Creed. I was thinking of successful ones. <laughs> well, you didn't specify. So. 
But yeah, Creed. Um, Black Panther. Yeah. Technically. Yeah, I bet you they bring him back. He was a good villain. Oh, man. He was such a good villain. Yeah. Uh, and there's a possible first look at the bat suit for Titans. I don't think I've like, seen this yet. No. No. It's, it's not too detailed. No, it looks like a... But like I guess someone cosplaying as it, yeah, where like, in that kind of style. <clears throat> I guess it's they're not. Everyone was complaining it doesn't have a bat symbol, but I guess it's because in this first season you're not gonna really see it. You're gonna see him in like the shadows, yeah. so they so just you, need you it. Don't up, need... Yeah, you don't need it all detailed out. But I mean, that's it's kind of reminds me of like uh, uh, Christian Bale's bat suit kind the, of. The headpiece looks like Michael Keaton's just because of like that, like oh neck, the, the, the neck, neck thing. thing. Yeah, but yeah, the rest of it's. Like a bale suit, it's mm-hmm. all pieced together with like all the clips and yeah. So I mean, we're gonna get at least it's gonna be like Superman in Supergirl season one, where you like saw him in the distance flying around or yeah, something, like in the background. Yeah, mm, that'll still work. Yeah, uh, this one I'm a little skeptical. Uh, Terrence Nance to direct the new Space Jam movie with LeBron James in the lead role, uh, but Ryan Coogler will be producing. I looked, I couldn't find anything. Like that, we would know that this guy's directed. No, <laughs> so he's a newcomer, and I guess it's a reboot, not a sequel. Sequel, which is a which, little better. Which is worse? <laughs> Wor- uh, yeah. Sequel would be worse, I think. Yeah, I just don't like LeBron. <laughs> True. <laughs> that's what this. I, it I'll, really. I'll that's, specify LeBron the player. This the is player. the player. He does a lot of great things outside of the court, <laughs> but he's just stupid. Okay. He's I, good though. He's I, good, I, I'm not denying he's not good, but he's not the greatest of all time. No. They did want to get Michael Jordan in the movie to do a cameo, right. though. Does that is make it, it better? A little better? A yeah, as long as, as long as it's like not a... He doesn't play the they Jordan should, character. They should do a sequel with Jordan. Right. That'd be great. Where he, I'd pay to see that. He gets his team together. Like and they have, now? Yeah, Oh, that'd be awesome. <laughs> I would definitely see that movie. Bill Mur- Bring Bill Murray back. Um, there you go. If he's not in the movie... <laughs> It's um, ruined. Yeah. <laughs> it's garbage. Unless unless they get an equal, uh, I'll say equal because there is no better cameo than that. Mm-hmm. There's so bad. <laughs> you don't go up yeah. from there. Also, we got Eddie Murphy to star in Grumpy Old oh, Grumpy Old Men remake, um, and they're rumored to be trying to get Sam Jackson to star opposite him. I got the picture from Coming to America. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so slightly different. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm. I haven't. We haven't seen Eddie Murphy in a while. So yeah, he, he hasn't really he's been, been kind of like staying out. Really. Yeah. So he's trying to make a comeback. I, I'm on this. I'd see this, especially with Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah, if they get, yeah. they do get him. He is a grumpy old man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have another James Bond rumor: Henry Cavill to take over for Daniel Craig. Uh, after after after, after uh, this what, Bond twenty five, I don't think they named it yet. I think they just said they're moving it till next year, or they're going to start. They're gonna, soon, yeah, because the one of director those. dropped. Oh, that, that's what it was. They Danny got, they got a new, dropped. They got a new director. They yeah. I Where's don't that remember. Different? That's a man from Uncle, man from which Uncle. I haven't seen, which I Fantas- need to see it. Fantastic movie. Yeah, that I really like James it. Bond. So that's if, what yeah. I think. He, if he, he got all right, so if. That's another guy who's got another Superman. He's going to be the Witcher. And then he would be James Bond after that. It's funny. This, because in Man from Uncle, he's playing. An he's American a, he's spy, a British right? guy Our, playing an American spy. And Army Hammer is playing a Russian. 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 Which, it, that just doesn't make sense. I mean, it works <laughs> for the movie. but And then in Mission Impossible, he plays. Uh, an an a, American CIA. American, no, a Brit. American. American, yeah. CIA so, operative. After the if he would be like a badass Bond, just I would you need him to fight people hand hand yeah. the whole time. I'm on board. Yeah, that, that reminds me. I was me say of this shot looks like four Bond. Like yeah. that's my. That's, yeah. You know, people are like who's your Bond? That's my Bond. <laughs> that's my Bond. <laughs> I know that's uh, pixelated uh, what's Pierce, Pierce, Pierce. 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 Yeah, <laughs> but uh, it's not even Pierce. It's the it's 64. The 64 bond. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. Um. All right, uh, Gambit. Uh, this is, I think, a rumor as well to start filming in February 2019. This yeah. one's been, yeah, this will never happen. <laughs> as Luch laughs in the background, I think they cast Channing Tatum in 2014. It's been years, <laughs> so yeah, we'll see. Because he, he wants to get this movie made. He does. But 
No one else seems to want to do it. This yeah. is like the Ryan Reynolds and Deadpool thing. Yeah. Like they need to release Some, something. Something's going to leak and it's going to be insane. Yeah. And they're like, well, we need to do... Disney's not going to pick it up by then. Yeah. Because it'll be theirs. Yeah, but I guess they want to get this off the ground before they sell. Well, well, we'll Hopefully. see if they do it. Yeah. Uh, Jeremy Davies from Lost in Const- the TV the show? show. Yeah. Okay. Which, yeah, we'll get to so, that. Oh, yeah. Okay, I didn't even realize it. He's going to join the Arrowverse again uh, oh. the in the crossover as an Arkham Asylum employee, uh, Dr. John Deegan. He's not, I looked him up. He's not in anything, but they're thinking he, he could possibly he be, could be strange. Hugo Strange. Ooh. Like, and that's just like his alias. Oh, that's true, because then Goth- that, that, Gotham's not technically in... Yeah, in this universe. In the universe. But it just that he's working at Arkham Asylum. We're going to see Arkham Asylum in the crossover. is awesome. Maybe, uh, maybe another Harley. Th- their like attempt. Small, yeah. Small role. That'd yeah. be cool. Stargirl cast Breck Basinger as Courtney Whitmore in Stargirl. I got a photo. Like, She's like from like... Kim Basinger's daughter? I don't that's think so. That's what I was just thinking. I didn't, I didn't look that up, though. She was. She's in, like, Nickelodeon and Disney show. It said School of Rock. And I was like, that's not right. And I looked at it and it was like the TV show oh, no. School of Rock. Oh, I, was <laughs> I was like, no, I know all yeah, the characters. Yeah, I know all the characters. <laughs> she is not one of them. She's not even a backup singer. <laughs> uh, Jack Black got a star. On the, speaking of School of Rock, it was, did you see his speech? It was pretty funny. No, I He's just, like, I announced my retirement. I have done everything now. I like, <laughs> no, I just saw him uh, get everybody in like a photo. <laughs> he was po- like they panned up from his feet and it was, it was just there. And it was there. <laughs> That's awesome. Not, not great for an audio podcast. <laughs> no, yeah, it's too explain. Maybe I can, uh, I'll, I'll throw a picture in here. <laughs> All right, where, where are we at in time? Okay. I'll, I'll, make I'll make a, a note. Make a note of that. <laughs> so you can then get everyone. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. It's, it's just like playing the game. Yeah. Um, and then last up, uh, Hulu to revive Veronica Mars for I think it was an eight episode uh, like season in 2019. So is this Kristen Bell? Bell, yeah. Still? Yeah. Oh. I wonder what so, that's going to be. What, what it's going to be like? Yeah. Oh. Cause what didn't they do a movie after? I they did a movie like they did a movie, it, yeah, wrapping, wrapping it, up. it up. I guess Hulu's gonna put all the seasons on, and then that's when they're gonna do this extra, like final one, final, <laughs> final, final, <laughs> season two. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> of the revived. Final well, she's final. on the good place too, so I can't see her. That's coming back this week. I oh yeah, no, I can't. I just finished season two on yeah. uh, again on uh, Netflix this morning. Uh, that show's unbelievable. It's so good. I love Ted Danson's great. I think everyone on that show is like perfectly. Yeah. Dancing. She's hilarious though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it seems the like one the episode that I just uh, I've, I had the last two episodes, but when they're in hell and Dax is there is like my favorite. Just love. Yeah. It. He's like, I like your stank. Oh, <laughs> She's God. like, that thank is, you. It's like the best episode, and they. I don't know. I love. I don't know why I think it's so funny, but they grill the jaguars. So oh hard my god! In that show. Bortles. Bortles. <laughs> All right. Well, that's enough for news. Now it looks like it's time to talk about some new trailers. Coming soon to a theater near you. Uh, first one to get a new one was Wreck It Ralph Two, where we got a trailer number two. Yep. Uh, Starting to see more of the story of what's of happening. What's gonna... They need to order a part for uh, her, her her game that game. gets broken. Yeah. Although the, I'm not going to get into it because it's a kid move. But isn't the part in real life? And how are they going to order it through the game? And That's they're going into the internet that. to order it. Okay, but to order a real life part, I think so. Where, uh, okay, I don't know. I don't. I'm not a writer. You see where I? Yeah. <laughs> I get what you're saying though. Like but if you order it on, but yeah. I, and, Amazon, and then it gets shipped there shit? to the, get... the arcade. I guess they know the address. <laughs> because they're in the game. Yeah. And if they have Prime, the movie's going to be over in two days. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which, movie. this trailer did show more, because I thought, like, uh, Gal, Gal Gadot, Gadot would be, like, a small, like, yeah, oh, she's hey, got I'm a, in the movie. But it seems like a bigger like role. most of the story. Yeah. 
I don't know. I like the. I love the first one. So first one was very yeah. good. I, and they just pumped the cameos into this. Yeah. Game. Like all the. I mean, it was it's like with, with we all got Disney more, princesses. Yeah. yeah it's like just... uh, we got a ton of money. What should we do with it? Yeah. <laughs> Disney I princesses. I saw Buzz Lightyear in one of the. Yeah, did you? He is. He is? He's in there. Well, they, uh, they have like Star Wars Land's going to be in there. Like, oh, I think I like, did see the that. I saw have, that. Like all these cameos and stuff that they own now. Yeah. This is like, yeah, this is like Lego Movie, and I'm like, bring them all. Bring them. Get everything. Uh, next up is uh, Bigger with uh, Tyler Hocklin. Hocklin, uh, Superman Super- from Supergirl series. Um, kind of like, what is it? The It's not a story about Arnold. It's like the guy who, it's the guy found, who, who found Arnold. The guy, probably. It's like Something the, like that. It seems like Jesse, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It looks like, good, though. Yeah. The guy that's playing Arnold looks like very good. Yeah. Just yeah. enough to like be like, oh, okay, that could see him being yeah. Arnold, but yeah. just enough to be like, oh, okay, that's not, yeah, him. it's not him. But wouldn't yeah. it be wouldn't it be ironic if he was like the only actor in Hollywood that didn't have an Arnold Schwarzenegger impersonation? <laughs> yeah. like, he like couldn't get it. Like, how do you like everyone has yeah. this? He's like the first thing reading. Like, get to the chopper. <laughs> <laughs> we need. To... <laughs> Come on and kill me now. <laughs> Uh, and then we have a trailer three for The Oath, which we talked about extensively yeah. before this yes. started. I'm so excited it's, for it. it. And like, I think we talked about the last, the second trailer like a couple weeks ago. This is already coming out. Yeah, I cannot wait. Yeah, though. well, it's October release. Really. Yeah, it's, it's right around the corner. <laughs> Just hey, I'm gonna say something. <laughs> <laughs> not political. No, not okay. political. Fuck you. <laughs> you will not say I that mean, in this house. You will not say that. <laughs> She's a trash pussy. All right, she's a trash pussy. <laughs> That's acceptable. She's in like, and what Tiffany Haddish is she's in. in uh, uh, she's gonna be in Night School, school as well. Yeah. She's, that looks, she's that gonna looks be in a ton of she's movies this year. Out. Yeah, I love it. Is that like that? Boy, got it. Or did I do that? <laughs> That's funny. Is it always like that? Yeah. And then we also got a season three teaser trailer for Daredevil. On Netflix. Yeah, it didn't show us much. Uh, just that he's like, it seems like he's only going to be Daredevil. He's this leaning season. Into it yeah. for sure. Which, like, that's why I want to watch Iron Fist, because isn't he supposed to be taking over for Daredevil? Like, at the end of Defenders, he was like, I'll take yeah, your but spot, I, kind I of. I heard in Iron Fist 2, like, he gives it away, or someone else takes it. He takes the, the fist, but I think he's but, still protecting some... Hell's Kitchen, though. Right, that without, area. without the fist is what I yeah. read. I don't know so if like I, I think I haven't watched it. So think I it's know. gonna they're gonna lean into each and there's I guess there's a like a end credit scene at the very end of Iron Fist that hints at Daredevil oh, season three. Hmm. Yeah, more I still need a Luke watch, Cage yeah. and that, and Jesse then like Jones Titans is coming out next week. Yeah. I have no time. Netflix found their like niche with that. It's like, yeah. hey, you know what? We'll just like take this little pocket of the uh, superheroes yeah. and make it awesome. <laughs> While still vaguely tied into everything else, right. but not really. Mm-hmm. Right. Where they could still do everything on their own. Yeah. It's probably cheap to get the rights, too. You know, like, originally. Oh, yeah. That's... Yeah. Like, now it's... Because the last Daredevil was Ben Affleck. But... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you could have it. <laughs> you could have it. You said that one right? Daredevil? <laughs> you sure? 100%? I'm sorry, but the best part of that movie was Colin Farrell. <laughs> Bullseye? Bullseye. That would be awesome. Or actually, uh, they're getting Bullseye's going to be in the season, he right? Is, yeah. He's a, I don't know how you replace your comic from. Yeah, maybe it's going to be. I don't know. I think they cast somebody already. It'd be great to bring him back, though. <laughs> phone, I don't know why I'm thinking of the movie Phone Booth, though. It's <laughs> a good movie. It, it is, is a, a good, good movie. movie. It's a good movie. I don't know why the, those two roles kind of <laughs> combine for me, but now it looks like it's time for some TVT trivia. Truth is. I am Iron Man. I'm Spartacus! I'm Spartacus! I'm Batman. I'm Wayne Brady, bitch! I am the father. I am vengeance. I am the knight. I am Batman! I am the clit commander! Yes, I'm Batman. Come rich, bitch!
This week's theme is Spider-Man 2. And I get to ask the questions. Yes. yes we're this is the most pretty... unprepared I've been for trivia. I'm very nervous. I, this, I'm so I feel like this every week, though. I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> I don't have a trivia. Week. I did well, it last time. Tony word, is like... pulling from my, like, I, I have the teacher's manual and Tony got a copy, so. <laughs> yeah. It's not cheating if. I'm going to no. block IMDB on your phone. <laughs> <laughs> it's not cheating if you know you're going to win. <laughs> Um, so you got seven questions. I do have, I have seven questions. Yes. Do you want to do from back and about forth? The movie to if about I, the characters. I was gonna to, say, do we want to do like you get asked, and, and then if, if you I don't get, get it, it, I get you asked. Can get asked. Or sure. Same, and then switch that way. Yeah. Sure. That yeah. Some of them are easy. Instead of buzzing in, some of right. them are a little bit harder. Um, but you know what? It's this is like who's line. Do. So yeah. <laughs> All right. Who wants the first one? Uh, Tony. Uh, yeah, I'll go first. Okay. Uh, Spider-Man 2 is filmed in three different cities. What are they? Uh, New York. Three different cities. Um, Should get at least two. Chicago. Yeah. Um, ooh. Do you know what it is? The other one's like kind of... It's got to be like a New Jersey or something close, I would think, but... Um, New York, uh, Chicago. How, how hints, I knew those two. How many hints do I get to get? How many like? No. Like, think about. So, like, I, so I get one more guess. One basically. more guess. Um, I steal the point if I get it. <laughs> <laughs> no, this guy's making up. <laughs> As we go, <laughs> he's gonna end up with like twenty points this week. I'm gonna be like, what? Um, well, we're ending soon. I spent a yeah, lot. Sure. Of, are you ending trivia? We're gonna we're switch gonna... it to. Um, we're gonna pick our three favorite trivias. And then read them off instead of quizzing each other. And then we're going to uh, so talk about one of the actors. We pick oh. each an actor. Because oh, it's, it's nerve-wracking picking trivia. And we keep yeah. trying to get harder and harder. <laughs> so like that's just a screw with each other. <laughs> I'll write them for you. I had a lot. I had so If you want to do, do that, we'll do that. So uh, okay, so New York, Chicago, and I'm guessing a studio somewhere in California. Okay, but that's a state, so <laughs> do we give them points? Oh, okay, no. Los Angeles. Yeah, you got it. That was that's my three. guess. So New York, L.A., Chicago, obviously Chicago for the elevated train scene. Yeah. Uh, yep. cause the, um, and then the difference between the New York and L.A. scenes, you can see if you look at the traffic lights. Oh, really? So if oh. you look really close to traffic lights, I guess... I don't know. I've never been to New York or LA, but I guess New York has something with their traffic lights. That Different, you yeah. Then so you can see it in there. Ah, now I'm gonna have to look. look out yeah, for that. I I was going to, and then I just got lazy. So <laughs> to look at like which I don't have time to, to Google New York traffic light and do that <laughs> research. I'm just trying to remember a movie from 2004. All right, so Tim, uh, what was the precious substance that Doc I uses to power his fusion device called? Tritium. Yeah, tri- tritium, tritium. Tri- mm-hmm. Spell it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to interject. Spell it. I have no idea. I can barely say things. <laughs> you, you did get it, though. I can yeah. barely say uh, things. So the, the fun fact about this one is this does actually exist in real life. It is, is it, like, very rare as it well? It is a beta-emitting radioactive isotope of hydrogen. Its nucleus consists of one proton and two neutrons, making it three times as heavy as a hydrogen nucleus. Hmm. Ooh. That does. See, kids, you're learning. Yeah. <laughs> Science. We need the the more you know. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. So, so you get you actually get a bonus point question. Nice. Yeah, you get a bonus point. Good question. thing you're gonna get it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> so, or here's what I read the do. manual. Here's what we're gonna do. Uh, but so this is from the manual, but then the bonus point is not from the manual. Oh. So if you get it wrong, we'll slow it to Timmy. So okay. You can get the whole thing. That works. Bruce Campbell. The wrestling announcer in Sam Raimi's 2002 Spider-Man also made an appearance in Spider-Man 2. In what speaking role? He has a, a speaking role. He does have a speaking role because he's the Damn it. usher outside of her play. Yep. Correct. And for the bonus point, What's he also <laughs> appears in Spider-Man 3. Damn it, he's seen this. In what role? <gasps> I Do you know, know this one. <sighs> so you got the, you got the, I got the, the two, regular yeah. point. Um, okay. No, I you steal do. that as well. <laughs> no. I, want all, I want all the points. He's in Spider-Man 3. What role does he have in 3? Yeah. Okay, so he went from a wrestling host 
to an usher. He is it's speaking in three too. If that helps. Um, it's wrong, but I'm going to say cab driver. No, that's a good guess. He is the French maitre d' at the, the <laughs> maitre d' that <laughs> uh, Or Peter Parker proposed, proposed to MJ. Yes, uh, and it fails. Yeah. Oh, okay. And he's got a little French mustache. <laughs> you, you'll be mad when you watch three. So is that? I have it on Blu-ray. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm going to give each of us a point. There. It seems yeah. like great detail. <laughs> All it's right. Like the most detail, if you will. Tim, uh, while playing Doc Ock in Spider-Man 2, this is from the, the manual, so thank God I'm not asking you this one. While playing Doc Ock in Spider-Man 2, actor Alfred Molina and the puppet oper- operators for the tentacles gave each of them a name. Oh, I read this one. <laughs> two of them share names with members of the Three Stooges, while the other two share names with a perky fictional progressive insurance agent and a popular boy wizard. <laughs> List all four names to get the point. Harry... Larry, Mo, and Flo. Nailed it. I kind of like. You did that's a good one. You that, did. No, that, you that, didn't. That, you didn't have good, to that's though. That's a good question though. I did read that one. Do you know our... which one had a special special? Wasn't it Flo because of the Do you know who why? was the puppet operator? Wrong. It's because it was a female thing. I right. thought it was a. So it's just, it's too. Flow. Unless it was a female. The puppet operator. Operator I think it was a was female, female uh, puppet and operator. Oh. The in the movie, she's the top right. Uh, she does all she like, the, the matronly and... things, and mm. she gives him the drink and takes off her glasses and things oh, like okay. that. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, Tim, That's cool. Good. That's the point, Jerry. Okay. So this one, and I noticed this came up later, too. Uh, Danny Elfman, who did the film score for uh, for this and several other of Sam Raimi's films, had some sort of falling out with the director during the course of this film. Okay. And had been quoted as saying... To see such a profound negative change in a human being was almost enough to make me feel like I didn't want to make films anymore. However, Raimi and Elfman reunited nine years later for a 2013 film starring James Franco and Mila Kunis. Oh, oh, um, Oz the Great and Powerful. Nailed it. (laughs) I was like, I totally forgot the movie. (laughs) Okay. And now we get into the, the questions that don't really have to do with the movie, but I thought was <laughs> funny, way funny to put inside. <laughs> Great. All right, Tim. Tobey Maguire's agent asked for $25 million or 10% of the gross, whichever was better, from Columbia Pictures and was denied. Spider-Man 2 went on to gross $373,585,852. Wow. Which deal would have made Tobey Maguire? I, I <laughs> <laughs> Which would be a better deal if Columbia had agreed to those terms? Okay, what was what was he offered again? Or so, what uh, was the original he wanted? Twenty five million or ten percent of the gross. Okay, and what was the gross again? Three hundred and seventy five. Three hundred seventy three million five hundred and eighty five thousand eight hundred and twenty five. The gross. The gross is correct. Uh, it would be thirty-seven million yeah. three hundred and eighty-five. Move the decimal move one. The, move, move the decimal one. Yeah, we really wanted to see. Like, do you know how to do percentages? Yeah. Can we do basic math here? <laughs> I've, I've tipped before. Okay, and this one, I'm glad you got this one. This Twenty, I double. <laughs> I double. <laughs> how dare you? But I need to know how to get to ten. How dare you? And this, one's, this one's not from the manual, too. So I'm that's too much work. So I just do twenty. <laughs> All right, last one. Good man. Besides his namesake animal, Dr. Octopus has cited another inspiration behind his famous tentacles. In Spider-Man slash Dr. Octopus negative exposure number one, he claims he got the idea from which famous artist's sketches? Do you know it? (laughs) No. Think about it. You know what what this reminds me of? Do you ever see the the SNL Game of Thrones quiz with Zach Galvanakis? What's the scene? They're all getting Game of Thrones questions and he's dressed as a dragon. Then his question's like, what is the the state capital of Wisconsin? And he's just like, I don't know. (laughs) Okay, so like what what work of art does he... he No, you just have to name the artist. He, He got the idea... From which famous artist's sketches? And this was Doc Ock from the comic books? This is Doc Ock from Spider-Man slash Dr. Octopus, negative exposure number one. Mm. It's, a real, it's a real... It's a real artist? Yeah, it's not something that they made up in the comic books. It's actually not that... Not as hard as... No, you're overthinking it. Okay. Uh, 
Tentacles, Octopus. It's a good thing I know my classics. Um, Bob Ross. <laughs> that we're gonna put a tentacle here. <laughs> I think there's still tentacle here. Um, uh, my famous sketch art, sketcher. Um, you're gonna you're gonna be so mad when you. I'm going to. Um, I'm trying to think of artists, and I'm thinking of all old old people. Just think of one. <laughs> You're probably I'm gonna, right. I'm gonna go with Picasso. No. Oh, you're not right. <laughs> I want to go. He was more of a sculptor, actually. Van Gogh. No, you're that not would, right that, either. That would have been my it's other. It's Da Vinci. Da Vinci. So and it's like, is it the arms thing? thing? Oh, oh damn it! Yeah. Oh, the, it's the, the thing sketches. of man. Yes, with all the arms. Dude, I was thinking that too, and I was like, uh, oh. there's no way it would be. Uh, you are right. I did. Well, of of the guesses, I think you guys named two of the three guesses. <laughs> yeah, like, right, out of, of the three of people, blanket <laughs> artist that it could be. Like no one's uh, like. I think it's Monet. <laughs> it's actually Monet. Um, no, you're right. You're is that the last one? Yeah, right. That is the last one. Yeah, I thought I was really any, proud any, of that question. I wrote that one. That's a good like, one. Yeah, I was really proud of it. Well, because I missed that last one. You got four points this week, and I got three points this week. <laughs> so, you win again. It's because uh, so he that, knew the maitre d', that's why. Yep. Yeah. Stole that one. one. So, you end with 159.7. Did we get all the questions in but the last one? Right? Uh, yeah. I'm someone got sure them all, right? I think yeah. someone got them all. Mm-hmm. It's pretty good. I, I like Tim's questions, if we're going to do it that way. T- Tony's going to go home and anger watch <laughs> Spider-Man, Spider-Man 3 of Blu-ray. Three. <laughs> We're gonna pause it on him and be like, "You son. put the time." We're gonna put a picture of him from three. Yeah. It's pretty funny, and like, uh, I watched the clip today, and, and uh, told oh, me, I, really? like, "I don't speak French." He's like, "This is a French restaurant." This is not. I do like that. That was a good cameo, but I, I still think him as the wrestler guy is like, oh, the best. that's the best one, I think. Yeah, and then Absolutely. then you get Randy Savage. Yeah, Bone Saw is ready. Yeah, for sure. I have 153.6. I'm six, no, I'm 6.1 points behind you. Point one? We do some weird ones what sometimes. Is this <laughs> Dude, you should see these, some of these math. I do them <laughs> just to, points and sh- I just do them to some mess with him because he has to add them up. <laughs> Well, like you like, get like the, the you get like the week. you get like the three. So it's like if you get one right, point three three. Yeah. You get two. Yeah, if you have six, like the multi part. Yeah. Well, I kept it simple. Yeah. One pointers. Much appreciated. All right, now that we're done with trivia, let's move on. It's now time for the main event. Uh, Let's get ready to rumble! The moment you've all been waiting for. Hold on to your butts. Our review of Spider Man 2. And now for a short summary of the movie. Peter Parker is beset with troubles in his failing personal life as he battles a brilliant scientist named Dr. Otto Octavius. Uh, Do you want to just go in order as it's on there? Just make it easier? Sure. A lot of these are going to be repeats. Yeah. Yeah. I I think some of mine were not the same, but... More or less. All right. Uh, my number one is the train scene. Um, the fight's good, but I think him shooting the webs, it's, it, it, although he makes the dumbest face while he's trying to do that. Also, his face is exposed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I love that. And then uh, when he's like, they help him off, and they're all like, he's just yeah. a kid, even though he's like, he's got to be like 20 something. <laughs> he was like 20 yeah. yeah. something when he He's not much there. older than my son. Yeah. <laughs> but then I love, uh, was it we Fat Tony from uh, Longest Yard? You got to go through me. Like, <laughs> yeah. I love that scene. Just great. 
Just, yeah. Everyone's sticking up for him. Yeah, that's just a great scene. So that's my, I'll draw a job I had. That's my number one, too. And yeah. I just like, that. that's obviously the highlight of the movie. Yeah. yeah. I just oh, love, yeah, that's like, amazing. I'm like, throwing people it's, off the train. And yeah. Like, yeah. It's almost like a video game. You know, he's like catching people yeah. and webbing people and stuff. And then there's the old guy that's like, got any other bright ideas? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to save you, and he's yeah. insulting me. Like, you're not helping. Over it would have been here. great if he just webbed his yeah. mouth. <laughs> no, or if he's just like, nah, I'm out. And then just, like, <laughs> see ya. Get off. Yeah, I love that. I mean, it's such a great scene that they, like, almost duplicated it in Spider-Man Homecoming. I mean, he's webbing the fairy together. Like, It's almost like every Spider-Man now, since then, has some sort of reference. Yeah, you're right. I didn't even realize mm-hmm. that. Um, my number two is Doc Ock. Like, probably one of the better villain arcs in a movie. Like, I'm glad you said arcs, too, because it, it basically takes you through everything. Through everything. It's like one of my... Like, he's... I mean, the, their conversation together is great, yeah. and then, like, him becoming... I mean, like, Doc Ock, and then, like, his redemption at the end is, like, right. great. Like, just phenomenal. Uh, three, the bank scene. Um, I'm not going to say much about it, because I'm bringing up my problems, <laughs> but uh, Joe McHale's great in that, and that's just a good fight in the beginning. Uh, for the cast, uh, I think we, I mean, Tobey Maguire is the perfect dork to play you, Peter to Parker. Play Peter yeah. Parker, yeah. Um, I, uh, I, I, I will I, agree I, with I was, him. Oh, I was going to disagree. I'll leave, I'm, I, I'm a hard disagree. I agree with you, but we'll talk about that in is your it problems. My problem? yeah. yeah, it's your problem. I'm I brought hard, it up the first I'm time. I'm a hard disagree. Yeah. Too. I know it. And I'm going to bring it up. I think it's she's sure. worse in this one than in the. I stand in, by it. I'm but I mean, you got. I mean, I'm still standing Aunt May looks like she's supposed to. <laughs> like an old lady. <laughs> you mean not uh, not hot? <laughs> so fun, um, the funniest thing ever come out of this podcast. Yeah. Was, uh, we got the end made that we didn't know we wanted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. Just everyone in the cast is great. Um, let's see. Number five. Uh, Peter Parker running into the fire to save the mm-hmm. girl. It kind of reminded me of like the first movie where he goes in and gets tricked by Green Goblin. Well, see, me not having seen this movie, apparently... You thought like, it was a trick? I was like, oh, it's Doc Ock trying to get him again. Yeah. And literally reusing it. But I, Yeah, but it was just a great point, yeah. great moment where he's like, he's like, I gotta do something, runs in, and then, like, hears that he didn't save everyone. He's like, I gotta be Spider-Man again. Like, like, like realizes... Like, right well, after the fireman's like... He turns oh, his head to the mugging earlier. Yeah. Like, yeah. He turns his head to the mugging, and then finally he's like, alright, this is... Which no, even if you, that one, he could have just been like, "Hey, everyone, yeah, help!" Right. Like it was, <laughs> you don't have to be, it was during the day. You don't have to, you don't have to drop have to go in there for that. Just be a regular <laughs> person. Who's be like, a decent there human is being. Something like, going on here. Reminded me of uh, Incredibles. That guy's getting mugged. <laughs> Um, and then my honorable mentions: Bruce Campbell. Just that he's in the the, the movie is great. That he was in all of them. Um, and I love that he's. Do you ever play the video games? He's like the narrator of the video yeah, games. Oh, really? Right, yeah. Like he's the training narrator. He's like, now jump this way. And like <laughs> he's great. making jokes. Um, and then J.K. Simmons is like the perfect. Uh, he is J. Yeah, Jonah Jameson. Yes. It, like they, they can't. I almost they can't bring him in the MCU because, like, or he, just bring him as J.K. Simmons. Yeah, God. I'm That'd sure a lot awesome. of people would overlook that. I'm fine with that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Totally fine. I'd almost that. much rather it be that. Be it that, I mean, yeah. I actually, like, I don't think anyone would have a problem with that. No? Then not one person mm-hmm. like, well, I'm Wait a, a minute. <laughs> but I do, uh, I got this another problem. This causes a problem in this. <laughs> yeah. No, come on, stop. It causes uh, no problems. Yeah, but those are my five plus. All right, my five plus. Um, <laughs> <laughs> watching the movie, I actually realized I don't think I've ever seen Spider-Man 2. <laughs> To be a hundred percent honest, shame. Even though in our oh, first, Spider-Man yeah, I was gonna say we forgot to bring up uh, our first Spider-Man episode. I apparently ranked Spider-Man two number two <laughs> after Spider-Man Homecoming without having seen it compared to all the other films. I just knew it was good. Yeah, but uh, I, what did you think of it? Yeah, I, I, it's exactly where it should be on my list. Okay, number two, That's number still? two. Okay, um, definitely pre like all these Marvel movies. Definitely, probably one of the best superhero movies, if not like the first, because it mm-hmm. essentially was. I might, it's it's also Kevin Feige was might a producer be, on this too. Really? Yeah, it might be it's, one it of the best. Stan sequels. Lee and Kevin Feige were like the two executive producers, mm. so might, he was he, he had a hand in all this. Yeah, <laughs> I think it might be one of the best sequels for a superhero movie. Uh, uh, X two, damn it, I've already ruined it. Thor Ragnarok, that's a three. Cool. Yeah, but it's still a best sequel. sequel. Yeah. 
But they, like, I would still I put think, this. Some people would probably it, say Empire. It's superhero. Yeah, in Ragnarok, they kind of go off like a different. Like it's, it's, it's a very it's different, almost a different movie. movie. Yeah, this yeah, one, like, this is like a pure like. I'm gonna like now it he's starts older, off now like he's college, yeah, exactly. You know? Yeah, I think you're right. I agree with that. But no, I I do like how it's like you said. It moves on. Like okay, you know he's got it. Trying to get, trying to work, trying to get a job, trying to go right. to school, mm-hmm. screwing up his life basically. Well, they, but... and they really leaned into like his life sucks because he is Spider Man. Yeah, I think that's great. oh, they, you know, like they he lives in a, a, a ton, a, a shitty apartment, and yeah, which you know, like, I think it looks very much like the the PS4 game is like very really? similar to, to that, this, where it's just like a, a one by one room almost, or a studio apartment. But yeah, it's like. He has to give up Mary Jane, and it seems like Aunt May doesn't even really like him that much. Like, she loves him, but there's times where she's like, yeah. one scene where he's like, like oh, I'm sorry, it's my fault. She's like, all right, get out. Like, yeah. Bye. 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 Actually, I think that's probably one of my, one of the, oh, that's my number two. Um, what I liked was he got wrecked by MJ, basically, like, getting told, like, <laughs> you're a piece of shit. Like, wrecked. Gets wrecked by MJ. And then Harry slaps him twice in, like, Immediately after that. Yeah. And then it's like, turns out MJ's engaged right immediately following him <laughs> yeah. getting smacked in the face. Right. And then he has to take a picture of it. So it's Parker, take that picture. <laughs> and we forgot that the movie starts with him getting fired. Like, yeah. Oh, his, yeah. He's a guy that he can't even with the, do. That, that, oh, the guy, he's from the internship. Yes. <laughs> That's the only thing, <laughs> the only other thing I know yeah. about, but he's perfect in that too. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, he, he gets fired from his job uh-huh. from... Doctor Strange's Pizza Place. Yeah. Was it? What was it? Was it? it? it, it was, well, his address, the address of the Pizza oh, Place really? was his uh, address. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. IMDb facts. <laughs> I heard yeah. that. Um, so, uh, for my second point, how he gets, basically, it's like, it shows him basically being sh- shitty, more mm-hmm. or less. Like, having a shitty life, everything's down apart. Yeah. yeah. That's a good way to put it. Um, it was nice to see that, and then that mm-hmm. leads into my three. You get to see the hero struggle and how he gets over it. Like a lot of superhero movies, it's like, oh, I'm a superhero, nothing, nothing They're bad. Like, that's, exactly. I think that's why three is not good because they start with that and you <laughs> just like, start oh, like, oh, nothing, it. nothing yeah. can go wrong. It's a great. I think it's a great like mirror to the first one. It's so like like the first one he's coming into Spider Man. Mm-hmm. Everything's great. Like I'm a superhero. Right. He's like learning and then, everything. And yeah. then it's like a couple years later, you're like oh this sucks. <laughs> Why <laughs> am I doing this? Like, it's like I took out a full time job and I have to go to school. And yeah, then, you know I can't tell anyone right. about my full time job. <laughs> no, yeah, you're exactly right. Um, and then number four, which could easily be my number one, but of the order I was watching it mm-hmm. in, uh, the train scene. That's just, when you think of Spider-Man 2, it's the train. Yeah, That's the, the one. Webs. And the web, yeah. And like Holding basically him, back. him martyring himself essentially is really what it is. Yeah. Because he was laid out with like his arms outstretched. Oh yeah. Go, and then even when they, over everybody. Yeah. Jesus much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then my number five, the, I put villains, plural, even though there's really only one. Um, how they set up and the redeem Doc Ock, and you kind of see how it adds to Harry's turn for setting up three. Yeah, and which God, they did such a good job setting it up, uh, and then it did, just like <laughs> didn't do well at all. Like should have been Hobgoblin, like a, a legit a hob. Yeah, Hobgoblin oh. would have been cool. Um, but like even you get at the wedding, but he's you wearing, do. He's wearing a green bow tie. Like immediately after, that he is. finds the secret layer hidden behind a mirror. Yeah. Which and we get William Defoe too, which yeah. is great. Yeah, they. So did you I read that too? Yeah, yeah. What, what go, was, ahead, go ahead. You. He wasn't supposed to be in the movie, and then he was like walking by. He's walking by because I he guess stopped. he lives in New York, and yeah. he walked by where they were shooting. And, and was like going to say hello to everybody. <laughs> yeah, like to, to like yeah. Because so I'm like, assuming a lot of people that worked out. So then they too. wrote that. Uh, so then they're like, you're gonna, you have to be in this movie. Yeah, yeah. you're here. So then they put him in. That's awesome. I know. That's crazy. Because they easily could have just had the voice, you know. Yeah, that, could, that easily could have been, yeah. or even like use old footage from one, or just right. he's like, talking to himself or something, like right. Yeah. Or it's a mirror. Put James Franco on the other side. Yeah, like, right. Either way. Yeah, I think that's a nice touch. Um, and then part of that too, the villain layers. So like, where Doc on the dock, decides, yeah, the uh, harbor or whatever. It's kind of gonna go into. I could add a problem too with that, but and then. Um, Green Goblins being like in the walls in the house. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, my honorable mention, the Danny Elfman score, which at times throughout the movie you can hear a little bit of Batman in there. <laughs> and I heard a lot of like uh, Nightmare Before Christmas in there, like subtle tones <laughs> as when he's swinging. But, I mean, it's Danny Elfman, so it's going to sound yeah. like that. Um, and then another honorable mention, the all the comic book nods. So like Doctor Strange and uh, Connor, Dr. Connors. Mm-hmm. Mm. Uh, and then wasn't it when he threw the suit in the garbage that was like it's a, a direct comic panel, yeah, yeah. panel mm. or cover, cover art, yeah. So I think they did a pretty good job doing incorporating real comic book history into it. And then my five, uh, the train scene we talked about. I don't need to do that again, but mm-hmm. it is like one of the best. Just, yeah, that all three of us put it on there. Right. Like, you well, it know it's a great It's yeah. like up the Spider-Man. You just you said it perfectly. Like it's been recreated. Or no, was it you? I said that. Yeah. You said it. It's been I recreated. Said it. Yeah. Yeah. So many times. It's like a. It's almost scene. in. Had, it's it, it's part of Spider-Man. Yeah. Right. Is that scene? And then I put losing his powers, which kind of ties into like the the fire scene and like. He doesn't really know what's going on, you know. And then he like, yeah. Kinda... yeah, he's like, "What's happening? I don't get what's." Although yeah. that that could tie no problem. Love too, that he just em- like... at first he embraces it, and then like later he's like, "I need these back now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How do he's I fix weird, this?" He has a weird montage where there's like three of his faces. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah. Where he's like skipping. It's like rain drops that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And then he jumps off a building like without fully knowing. If he has the <laughs> I know we're getting that's the one of yeah. that's one of that's one of my quotes. We'll get to that. <laughs> yeah. I almost wrote it down, but but I, I thought that was an interesting touch. Um, it's more of like a, a battle with himself. Yeah, yeah. And I put Doc Ock uh, oddly believable because like that's like I was th- watching it. I was like. This is like an Elon Musk thing. Like, Elon Musk, Most like, of the villains, Elon I'm Musk is like one <laughs> thing away from right. just turning. But it's not like Venom where it's like, oh, this is a alien symbiote. This is like, these are machine arms I built because yeah. I'm trying, you know, like, it could... Because I'm trying to help the I don't want to say yeah. it could happen, like, but like, if someone oh, it told you it could, happened, yeah. you're like, oh, all right. Yeah. That's, oh, that's, that's messed up. That's going to end bad. <laughs> yeah, that's going to end bad. <laughs> J. Jonas Jameson uh, is my fourth one. Uh, we were talking yeah. about it, but it's just, just perfect. so good. Bring the heat again. Uh, and then I put five, uh, humor. I thought this was the funniest Spider-Man movie. And I'll get into it in my quotes, but like the elevator scene. There's just <laughs> yeah. a lot of like funny things yeah. that happen, you know. Yeah, elevators. Like, I forgot about that. Yeah, too. it's one of my When quotes. I was watching, I was like, oh man, I don't remember this at all. Yeah. It was all new. <laughs> it was all new. It's, uh, it's, it's funny. You could tell they like take some breaks for humor and write some jokes yeah. in for this mm-hmm. one. And then honorable, honor, honorable mentions, I wrote the the strange shout out. So kind of tying, you know, like we were saying, like, with the that, that's good, but it's yeah. taken already. It's taken already. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, it's funny. All right, a uh, few problems. Um, I'm going to add one as what well. I have three. I was going to say, I think I can add one. Um, all right, I'm going to go. I'm going to leave the bank one for last. But uh, <laughs> they they do like when they first show his lair, like on the docks, they do this weird way. Like it's all been fade outs and like going in black, and they do this weird like wavy transition, <laughs> and it looks like a PowerPoint. Like I was like, what are you? What are you guys <laughs> I doing? That. I gotta if, watch it now. Next time you watch it, you'll only see that. Yeah. Now. Um, and then I, I thought of one, but like, uh, was it J, uh, J. Jonah Jameson's son coming back from space? That you mean they, Strider from X Men? Yeah, they uh, well they <laughs> or Striker or whatever Striker. They yeah. missed a like they could have like put a little Venom nod there somehow. It's like that's in the comics how they brought. He's the yeah, astronaut. Yeah, yeah. Like they they missed something there. I think. Um, and then my last one is what bank has just bags and bags of gold coins in their <laughs> safe, just not organized, just on the ground. That, that is easily the most glaring problem <laughs> yeah. in this movie. Like it's just such a good movie. It's, Until you get to that, you're like, "What? Why? Is Why?" That? It could. I mean, it could have been pennies. <laughs> that would no, make. That no. would legitimately make more sense. <laughs> yeah, solid gold dollars. Solid than yeah. pirate coins. <laughs> Unorganized and bad. I feel like they're, they're missing a deleted scene color. where Scrooge McDuck is swimming in the their safe right there. Just and the bags got like a big dollar sign. <laughs> yeah, on yeah, like, like <laughs> it's just that they, they try to make everything so real, and then it's just like, yeah. ah, you know what, just. Just do that. I would love a cutscene of like 
uh, a bank worker, like, just opening the vault to get something, and then, like, trying to navigate around the bags, like, stuff in the bags. I mean, oh. Why don't we have an organization? System? You have Joe McHale, too, in that seat. That, it could be him, <laughs> perfectly. Be perfect. yeah. Climbing on top of the bags and stuff. I think that'd be so funny. That would definitely work for him. <laughs> All right, yeah. my problems, which, I, again, I kind of added a couple, but um, one of them was, like, the random cuts to the random citizens. So, like, I'm trying to remember examples, but there's the one where the girl's just, like, it f- zooms in on the girl, and then it's like, oh, Spider-Man's up there, and then follows Spider-Man. Um, and another one's when, and I, I get what they're doing. It's like, oh, we're showing the city how they see it. Right. But it's like, they spend just too long on a shot of a random Person. Nobody. Yeah. Where it's like, okay, do you really need this in there? Maybe that was like a relative or something. I don't know. Uh, uh, right. Yeah. Someone like, like they put in a Raimi. Yeah. <laughs> or like about like the when they show those two girls when the staring two, at the two hot chicks. Like yeah, just spans oh. up on them and then it's like, oh wait, and then there's Spider Man. Yeah. I was. Mad I, that I it get what they're going. Girls longer though. So. <laughs> <laughs> I, like that's I get a, what they're that's doing. a different movie. <laughs> yeah. You can't be all of them. Yeah. Um, number two, I thought that having performance issues was an interesting choice for Spider-Man. You didn't like that? I, I didn't say that. I said it was an interesting mm-hmm. choice. I liked it because it's like tied to himself. Right. And like how the doctor's like, oh no, it's it's, it's all in your head. Like, it, you're fine. Like, it's just all you. I just thought it was an interesting choice. Yeah. Can we I talk mean, about it those definitely kids worked. too? I, I, I miss this in the humor part. The kids, that's such one of the funniest parts. How did Teacher, you do yeah, that? Yeah, how did you do that? <laughs> Working out and... Eat my green vegetables. My mom tells me that. I didn't believe her. <laughs> I I uh, I disagree with you on that in a problem. The powers oh, one? I just thought it was an interesting choice. and Not so much a problem. But I was like, oh, okay, that's... Where would you go out, like, if, if you didn't do that? I, I think I would know what to do. I would just have him quit, be Spider-Man, not so lose no the powers. So no performance issues? Yeah, he just wants to be normal, but he still has the powers. I think that would work. That that would probably be. Yeah, you're. I don't know how I would do it. I I like the choice overall, but I at first it's like, oh, he can't he can't shoot Web because he's sad about Mary Jane. Like, oh, yeah. uh, okay. I mean, that's I another could, problem. Knowing, on knowing the whole this, is knowing him the, shooting Web. Knowing the <laughs> Spider Man history, like, okay, I, that makes total sense. Him and Mary Jane, but like overall, it's like, well. Okay. You could lean into the Mary Jane yeah. thing. Like, he just doesn't want to be Spider Man. Yeah, because he wants to be. Wants Jane, to be he, he wants to be, Mary. yeah. I thought it was an interesting choice. It definitely worked overall in the movie. Mm-hmm. Um, it it came back at the right time, conveniently, which that could be the problem. But it is after he learned. That's, I that mean, that, I think saved. that I realized, I said it before, but I think that's the biggest problem. He just jumps off a building. <laughs> so he's like, yeah. I've been having problems with my powers. But now no, but I'm just, just going to yeah. Jesus just take gonna... the wheel and <laughs> jump off this yeah. building. Not start by like, maybe I'll just see if I can climb the building. Yeah, yeah. I'm the jungle gym. Like yeah. jumping yeah. off of there. And then I, I kind of added two more problems. One of them, um, I, know, I totally forgot what it was. Um, I just had it. I'm like, oh, this is how I'm going to say it. Uh, one of them was, oh, uh, Doc Ock's new layer is right in the water. It's like... If you know water's going to destroy everything, <laughs> why would you put electronic shit by water? By water. That's just... That, that's that, not even what I thought you were going to say. That's as I far you opposite say, as you want to go. <laughs> people will be like, hey, what is that out there? Hey, why is that, why is that <laughs> old so build, building, why is that old building, building glowing? Uh, I'm not a scientist or a police No one's been in there for 20 years, and now there's all this shit getting shipped there. Like, what? what's going on? Yeah, that was another... He robbed the bank... To buy the things that he was just going to steal the things. Steal the things. I, I just thought that was. Just, I don't have any money. We just like, take gold coins. Yeah. <laughs> Do you guys take gold take coins? going to take stolen bank money. <laughs> Do you guys take gold coins? <laughs> oh, yes, sir. In these comical dollar sign bags. That's a deleted scene I want to see. He's like, I'm going to need all this computer stuff. Here's a bag of gold coins. Well, we take Visa and MasterCard. <laughs> what about gold coins? What's the conversion rate? I can't remember what the other problem was, but I'm sure I'll think of it. Or it wasn't really a problem at all. 
Yeah, I mean, I feel like none of them and, and are it's not ever like a problem. It's, it's like, like nitpicking. They chose to go yeah. with something and they went with it. 2004. It yeah. You know, like, that's how I feel like I know, I'm buttering my head. Like, yeah, in well, the back of my head, I'm like, are we, am I complaining? No, no, I don't think we, we were in, at all. I was in seventh grade. Yeah. When it came <laughs> right. out, like, I wasn't thinking, why do they have gold coins in a bank? Like, <laughs> it probably like, melted I just thought brain. that was normal. Uh, seventh grade, you would be like, oh yeah, gold coins are in a bank. <laughs> that makes total sense. <laughs> That's why we're trying to rob them all the time. <laughs> to get the gold coins. Obviously, they're in the vault. <laughs> <laughs> in bags with dollar signs on them. <laughs> Yeah, that's why it probably melted my brain the first time I saw it. Like this is so good. Yeah, <laughs> it's the perfect movie. It's honestly, I was like, this still holds up. And then I got there and I was like, God damn it, that is the one. And then there's just gold coins exploding all over the bank. <laughs> it was like, very. You couldn't do that with dollars, but yeah, it, true. But would change. think about this. If I picked up a gold, or I picked a bag of gold oh, coins, be heavy and shit. I hurled it at someone, yeah. it would kill you. <laughs> he right? gets hit a couple times. Does, yeah. Well, not even to Spider Man. Even if like a just a random pedestrian like got hit with, and it's got away a couple hundred pounds, it, right? At like, least, yeah. Um, you take that to the chest. You're <laughs> <laughs> yeah. at least going to the hospital. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so my problems. I don't want to read the first one. I, I agree know with it 100. percent I am. Tony, in the, I can I'm hear Tony grinding his teeth camp. through the. She was just really. I don't like Kirsten Dunst. She was just not. I don't know. I don't like her. I don't it, think she's her good performance actor. Performance from she one wasn't to even two. believable in the fake play she was in in the movie. Yeah, <laughs> she was a she bad was, actor. In yeah, that. they made her do a fake accent for some reason in that oh. play too. It just. I, I don't she's know. Fine. She's. I don't think she's the best actress. Here, and here's my my issue with me saying at this, the time who would you have picked? You, that's that's so tough. That's exactly like, what I was gonna say. You counter with who else do you? You counter with who? Who else is it? Who else is no gonna answer. have the red hair? Fit in the she doesn't they don't have, have the red she hair. Doesn't oh, have okay, red well, hair. Whatever. But that that works well with Toby. When did Mean Girls come out? I would use Rachel McAdams. She's a much better actress. I thought you were gonna say Lindsay Lohan. No. Because I think Mean Girls was 2005, so she looked like she was in high school the year before. Wouldn't and she's a great actress. Wouldn't it be a bad choice? I have. It's, I still have no problem with Kristen Dunst. I think she's a bad actor. I, also, I think like I think her and Tobey Maguire have no chemistry. Not for the, for the <laughs> time, either. for the time, everything was fine and worked. Looking back, 20 years later, sure. Yeah, right. Could've. That's why. That's why I preface this with. It's, now I'm not I, I can't nitpick a movie that came out yeah. over a decade ago. Yeah. But I do agree. There's just something about her I I don't like. So the second one I had to write this down. I had to write this down, and it's such a small part of the movie. Oh, actually, where I remember my I, I, the doctor in the Grateful Dead tie dye T-shirt. I thought it was a fish shirt at first. I thought it was. It hysterical. doesn't matter what it, it is. Matter. If I walked you know into a doctor's office, you know exactly office, what they're going for. If I walked into a doctor's I'm, office, I'm turning again, around. Yeah, I don't care if I'm on a college campus <laughs> or I'm like this is you're in a lab coat and a tie dye T-shirt. Like, very weird choice. I, can I get a new doctor? I don't want that guy. <laughs> Very weird choice. It's like they grab the guy off the street. <laughs> it's just like, oh no, don't change. Just throw this lab coat on. <laughs> you come from a concert? Great. Great. I think that ties into one of my problems is like his identity in this kind of just goes to the wayside. Who? Honestly, yeah, though. I'm... Towards the end. I mean, I get the one where it's like New York who's banding around their hero. So yeah. they're not going to say Actually, anything. And it's, it's not like... And it's, because uh, else, right? Yeah, and it's not like right. uh, he's like Bruce Wayne. It's like he's just a kid that no one knows. Right. Like if like you knew Batman was Bruce Wayne, you'd be like, oh, I know who but Bruce then, Wayne is. But then the doctor's like, all right, you're Spider-Man, clearly. Doctor-patient <laughs> confidentiality. That so. guy does not have... <laughs> I was going to say... He's wearing tie-dye shirts. Based somewhere. on the conversation we just had, I'm pretty sure he doesn't care. No. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm assuming that He's after he He's walking out being like no. receptionist. He's like, that's Spider-Man. No, yeah. No, I feel like as soon as he was done and he found out, he just smoked a bunch of weed and forgot instantly. Uh, and, okay, so I'm just going to keep jumping back to funny parts in this movie because I keep remembering him I was talking. Jay Jonah in the Spider-Man suit. That's uh, a deleted oh. scene, though, because I didn't get it in when I watched it on my copy. Oh, really? Yeah. I got it on the, when I watched you, it on FX. I don't think really? I got. I don't think I got the extended elevator scene. When the I extended. Watched, I, I see. I was reading the quotes there was and an I didn't get an extended cut. cut of that's that. two point one. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's there was an extended. I only. But got Jay the Jonah and the Spider. I've seen that before, though. Is yeah. So funny. yeah, and they're all watching him through the, like Elizabeth Banks and uh, yeah, which another great cast. Yeah, I feel like they underused her a lot. Yeah. Well, I bet you. 
she, if they remade it now, she would have a lot more. Oh yeah, that would influence. She'd be like, well, Heather, she's in. She know? was in um, Homecoming. They had Betty Brant in right. Homecoming. Well, yeah, so as my, the high school yeah. announcer. I'll get in my life, so I'm but, hanging on this too. Yeah. Long. Uh, Aunt May getting dropped off a building and then like just not. <laughs> like if, if I got dropped off a building, I'd be like. I'm going to tell everyone. <laughs> Everyone's going to know about this. I'm 90 years old. I got dropped off a building. I hit Dr. Octopus with an umbrella. umbrella. <laughs> I was literally hanging for my life. And then the next scene, she's fine. Like, she talks about, like, oh, you know, he can't take me down. But, like, that would mess me up. I'm scared of heights, but, like... I'm scared of heights. I Regardless would, of the heights thing. Like, I would a giant least... man with four robotic arms just kidnapped me for yeah. a second. I think he drops her twice. I think yeah. so. I mean, drops her, catches her, brings her back up, and then getting grabs ready, her again and then drops her. Saves her from, uh, or saves Spider-Man from being impaled. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then she's like having a garage sale the next scene that we see her. <laughs> yeah, you think? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> she probably what? forgot everything that happened. Uh, just... I, I hope so. That makes more sense than just not addressing it. <laughs> <laughs> not addressing it. Oh, you didn't see the deleted scene? Uh, Aunt May with PTSD. <laughs> just, oh, God. <laughs> Waking up with a sweat. <laughs> She's falling. Uh, all right, uh, moving on to quotes. Um, I'm going to need some help on the last one. But uh, my first one is Doc Ock at the very end when he's Peter Parker. And then he looks at him, he's like, brilliant but lazy. Because he's like kind of coming through. He like realizes that he's like that's why he was lazy. Mm-hmm. Oh, take that uh, out of mind. I just realized I wrote that too. Did you? I was like, why? Why does that sound familiar? Oh, yeah, man. yeah. I mean, I, that, I you're right. That, that, that's a great. That is a great scene. Uh, and then even attacks him like right after that. Still, um, right? You'd think, oh, he's gonna be like, fine. yeah, I was like, no. Oh. Um, and then my number two is Peter Parker. I'm back. I'm back. And then he falls like ten, five stories at least, yeah. and then hits a car. <laughs> My back, my back. Just well, one of the greats. Also from the manual, apparently they yeah. had to delay filming because Toby actually hurt his back. And so they almost got they... Uh, Jake Gyllenhaal. Jake I'm pretty sure that was one of our trivias so last so time. Let's take a second to think about what that would look I, I don't know if it would be better or worse or what you would I'm do. I'm trying to think of Jake like, Gyllenhaal. Just, when inexplicably, he would look like Jake Gyllenhaal, in, uh, Jake Gyllenhaal in and like, we're just going to run with the script. Oh, okay. Probably, like you wouldn't really. Oh, it's it. funny. Did you ever see Entourage? Yes. Where he plays, he does. Uh, he plays Aquaman, and then he passes on Aquaman too, and Jake Gyllenhaal takes over for him. <laughs> so I thought that was funny. Um, Honestly, it probably would have been fine because they're very similar. Yeah. I would think. He seems Jake Gyllenhaal is a little cooler than Tobey Maguire. I for think. Sure. Oh yeah, but <laughs> you could make someone out. look like a a nerd for sure. All right, uh, my number three. Who wants to be Hoffman? I'll be Hoffman. All right, yeah, you be Hoffman. What are we gonna call this guy? Doctor Octopus. That's crap. Science squid. Crap. Doctor Strange. That's pretty good, but it's taken. Wait, wait, I got it. Doctor Octopus. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I like it. Of course you do, Doctor Octopus, the new villain in town. Doc Ock. Genius. <laughs> What are you looking for? A race? <laughs> oh, get out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love the, the Doctor... Two Doctor Strange uh, references. references yeah. in one. You think they ever were planning something? If they mentioned him? Um, yeah, I Maybe, because... It. Well, Maybe. Spider-Man... There was supposed to be a Spider-Man 4. You think they were going to... Might have been in the works. I'm sure. It, I'm references? sure if it was. I'm sure if three, the studio wasn't like you have to do this, this, and this. Yeah, he would have been like, oh yeah, okay, let's let's do this, set this up, and then move yeah. gradually into all of it. Not because I mean, well, you said Kevin guys. Feige was a he was pro- a, he was an executive producer. producer. He Stanley, definitely yeah. it was him throwing it was all. His it. He's idea. like it's like we let's start combining stuff <laughs> now. Like let's thank the gods that that didn't happen because you could could you imagine them putting Strange in three like. There's, How are you going to explain that in 2005 I don't know. or 2006? If it was still like, bad when it came out. Like, I'm thinking... I, Doctor Strange is one of my favorite superhero movies. I'm just glad they got it right. Like, mm-hmm. If he were, like had a cameo in Spider-Man 3 and then it was just like tanked, you're like, this is... It's like it's like Green Lantern. You know? Like, yeah. Well, yeah. You can make Green Lantern, but we remember. I remember what <laughs> we'll that remember is. We'll remember the other yeah. one. Yeah. 
All right. Uh, for my quotes, um, my number one is, after all these years, he's nothing but an empty seat. He's nothing to me but an empty seat. So it's MJ talking to Peter. Talking to, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, number two uh, was another train scene one. He goes, you, you have a train to catch. <laughs> yeah. So a classic villain campy, campy line. <laughs> yeah. like, zinger. Um, Tim, you said this one, but yeah. Peter Parker, brilliant but lazy. It's a great line. Yeah. It repeated from earlier, but yeah. it was perfectly like, oh, I get it. This, this is kind of ironic. Yeah. And then number four was I Will Not Die a Monster. So when Doc Ock's kind of like redemption, when he's just like, oh, yeah, let's put this in the water so that way the energy or whatever. Mm-hmm. He's like, no, I'll let me do it. I'll take it I'm out. I'm not going to die a monster. And then number five, I'm pretty sure this was like in the first Spider-Man day. She had a line like this. But um, MJ goes, go get him, Tiger. Yeah. At the end. That was the only good part of her I liked. <laughs> that one line. That's funny. So my three were the... I love... He I'll, just stole I'll, that I'll, guy's pizza. I'll put, the, yeah. I'll put the picture in. Oh, yeah. yeah. Definitely put the picture in. Whoa! <laughs> what is it? He, he stole that he guy's... Stole guy's pizza. And that was... I, I From the manual, that was originally supposed to be Stan Lee. Yeah. yeah. And they got Ashy Larry. I, 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 I kind of wish it was Stan Lee, but also that was fantastic. Yeah. The one he did was... was he saved people. You don't uh, really see... He doesn't really say much, but look out or watch anything. out, I think. Yeah. yeah, I think he just pulls him away. And they pulls him away. It's more heroic, I guess. I'm glad you picked this number two one, because I, I was gonna if no one did. Do you want me to read it? Yeah. Okay, I was just gonna talk about it, but... I drove Spider-Man away. My God, he was a hero. Spider-Man truly was an asset to this city. He was a whooshing sound. <laughs> it is heard, and Jameson turns around, realizing that the Spider-Man costume is gone. A criminal! <laughs> Who is he? A burglar. <laughs> he stole my suit. I want Spider Man. I want Spider Man. Yeah. It's, it, I just love that. Like he's just, just like he's turn. like he realized he was. He, was like, he starts oh, no. to get sentimental. Like, like, he starts break. to get that turn. Like, and then oh, like maybe not. as soon as he trips, he's like a burglar. <laughs> and then a the, the last one's the elevator scene. It's super long, so I'm not gonna read it. But there's the two versions. See, of that. this one is the I one got, I didn't get. I didn't get this one. Did you get the itchy I one? Got the I itchy got the itchy one. one yeah. Oh, see, I got this one, and uh, both of them are fantastic. Yeah, they're rides in the crotch a little. Yeah, that guy's famous. Also, he is. Yeah, also, Hal Sparks, he, is that his name? I Hal can't. Sparks? I meant to look it up, but he, I forgot. He's uh, he's a. Um, I forget his name, but I think he worked with. I think, it was, like, I think it was one of those buddy ones where it's like he knows him and put him in. I, th- I think he was on like oh, Queer yeah. Eye or que- something. Uh, it was another show, a Queer something. Yeah. Um, where he was like a big comic nerd and just wanted to yes. meet someone. Yeah, that's what it was. But it's both of the scenes are. It, I wish they would have put them both in because they're fans. <laughs> if they, yeah, if they just would have yeah. left it like one long yeah. one. Also, the PR firm initials are Wank. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like. Oh, Wank. Wank. Eisenhower, Anderson, Nichols, and Knudsen. That's awesome. I, Did you just realize? I it? just realized, like looking at these notes. I wonder if that's a. That's got to be purposeful. Yeah. Someone at some point was like. Some writer's like, I got this. Yeah, he starts basically the gist of it. Is he starts suggesting all Pitching these products ideas. for yeah. Spider-Man, and then he's like, "I'll give you a, I'll give you a card." He's like, "Oh, I don't have any pockets." Yeah. <laughs> it's like the perfect way. Like, no, nah, I can't take. Yeah, it. that's the that's the highlight of him losing his powers. Like him slowly riding an elevator. <laughs> someone. I love you, man. Thank you. Thank you. All right, moving on to recasting. And I just read yours. Yeah. Is that pretty good? I yeah, I like. Good. Have you seen him now? Like now older, be, yeah. he would definitely yeah. crush it. I'm trying, uh, I'm trying to think of mine now while you. Yeah, we'll do me, and Tim, and then yeah. you last. Um, all right, so I'd go with uh, Michael C. Hall, Dexter. Um, he can play like the like the sciencey stuff and like do that perfect arc, I think, of him being, like, wanting to save the world and mm-hmm. going into I think he'd have to put on... I'm crazy. 100% behind it. He'd have to put on, like, weight. Yes. A little bit of Well, like, if you look at Doc Ock in the comic books, he's not, like, that big, Sometimes though. he's ripped. Sometimes. He's, like, girthy? I don't know what the word is. I don't think he know? needs to be ripped, though, but just, like, a normal, like, he doesn't yeah. have to be jacked. But I am definitely... Yeah. Like, he would play like the perfect, like yeah, talking yeah, to the the arms. Yeah. Like, oh, that'd it's be not great. even about the body either; it's about the arms. Uh-huh. So I think I'm I'm 100 behind that. 
I put uh, Rain Wilson, and the original yeah. was because I was like, I, I'm looking at him in the comics with that terrible with the hair old cut, old yeah. cut, and I had to remind me of Dwight. Like the animated series. It reminded me of Dwight, yeah. Yeah. and like it's, how, it's like, how weird like it is. the band, like, directly over yeah. what was here. And it, right. Like, so that kind of reminded me of it, and I was like, he's a good actor. Like, yeah. He could probably pull off the, obviously he could pull off the crazy guy, because he could <laughs> yeah. off and so. I think that would be interesting to see Rain Wilson in a superhero movie, especially as a villain. I think he would he would definitely fit in the MCU for sure. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. yeah. See, like where I feel like Michael C. Hall would get real dark. <laughs> yeah. That would be like, a, like a he's Venom. A, he's in he the Venom be, first. Oh, yeah. That'd be awesome. That's or, what I was see when I was thinking. I was like, right, Tom Hardy's Venom. Who do I want to play Doc Ock? Like that's what I was going for. Or in this is just because I've seen Dexter, but like I want to see a Michael C. Hall like Joker. Not not even in the movie. I just want to see what his impression of the Joker, Joker is. Would I do bet it. you it's scary yeah. as hell. <laughs> I, there's probably a lot of actors out there who are like, I have an idea for the Joker that I can't pitch to anyone because it's so out there. Twisted. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot of people that could play the Joker. And that's why I think uh, uh, Leto did a good job. But I also think that there's like a dozen other people that I would like. It's just because I want to see. He, he gets ripped yeah. apart for his because no one wanted a Suicide Squad movie, right. and they're all like, "Why is this happening?" He did a good job, though. Yeah, I mean, yeah. he. I mean, he went for something. He went. For, there yeah, was exactly. one. There's just one scene in that movie I don't like when he did that grunt. Yeah. <laughs> to, to Ike, actually, yeah. Yeah. just like that one. I was like, "Ah, oh, you were doing so well up until then." Once the bars you had to go there. Once the bars Heath Ledger, though, like yeah, I think we thanks. talked about. Actually, I think I talked about this the last time I was here. Like, it's a losing game, you know. Hard. Oh, you're blind. Grab it. <laughs> I can't see. That was the one picture oh, when Hamill. I, yeah, as Doc Ock. Mark Hamill uh-huh. would be my number two. He, he would be good. I mean, he can't really do anything bad. But. Yeah. I mean, he played a scientist in Kingsman. King, yeah. Yep. Good All movie. Right. Um, for mine, because I, I have three. One of them is who I'm going to pick. And the other two are suggestions from this article I just read. Uh, but... Uh, what's his name? Alfred Merlina wanted to play his in this, like a like a bodybuilder, like an old timey mm-hmm. one. So with that in mind, I'm gonna say Tom Hardy because of okay. he did that bodybuilder movie where it's like the high waist shorts and like just oh yeah yeah. Shit. And then Tom Hardy could probably do it. He could he could literally do. <laughs> He'd be like, able to do. It. I'm yeah. ready for Venom. I'm <laughs> yeah. ready for, he could be anything. He's such a good actor. Just plays the whole Sinister Six. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Probably could. <laughs> Tom Hardy. <laughs> Tom, Tom Hardy, Hardy is, is Harley t- Quinn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, I, give me my ticket. I'll, yeah. I'm very interested. You know I'll, pay, I'll pay to see what that would be. Yeah. <laughs> I was born with six or eight limbs. <laughs> um, and, and then, then the yep, I do. And then this uh, this article has Alec Baldwin. I see. I saw that. Like but... someone like Hollywood would probably pick it. He's got the look. I He's think. got the look, but... but I don't know if he could. I just picture him as the Thirty Rock. Right, yeah. <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. You're defined by like you're like. That's the only he, thing I mean, he's people great. are defined by he their could, roles. Yeah. You know? If you watch like the Mission Impossible's, like he plays a more serious guy. I could see it there. Yeah. A right. little bit, but it's like I mean, it's like uh, Daniel Radcliffe. Like, I, you're, I'm you, sure you're a great actor on Broadway. Blah blah. Yeah. Like, you're Harry he's Potter. Harry Potter. You're Harry <laughs> yeah. He's not gonna I'm get sorry. away from that. Like, I wish you weren't, but you are. Well, I mean, it, rarely you can change it. Like um, I was who? Hal, Malcolm in the Middle, and then oh, Brian, oh, Brian, oh Cranston. Frank Cranston, yeah, and then Walter White, right. like just, those are, it's that, rarely, it and rarely that works happens because it's too polar opposite. Yeah. And, I would and say. he doesn't look the same too. I think. True, like, yeah. You, he, you could tell me those are two different people, and I would believe you. Yeah, you look at what Walter White looks like, and then, and then you, you look know, at like, vanilla yeah. ass Malcolm <laughs> said, like, oh, those aren't the same people. Yeah. Two different people. Yeah. And then the other pick they have is Jared Harris. The guy, the Ooh, let's see, the guy Moriarty uh, from yeah. Sherlock. I saw that. Yeah, I did. Yeah, when Which, I was looking, that would be, an stuff int- up. It would be like the darker, or not a darker take, but a, I was also the guy that I picked for Penguin. Um, he's in Ray Donovan. He was the villain in Hancock. I don't know. I can't really think Another of things one he was seen. in. Uh, God, I'm gonna, it's gonna piss it me off. Uh, we have the technology. We have, but yeah, just seeing like a. A Doc Ock now in the MCU would also work because you get the Iron Man, you get the like sciencey stuff. Mm-hmm. It would fit in. That's I was reading. Uh, one of my one of my trivia questions was going to be about his harness. 
and it was about it was made of like titanium and it was made of adamantium and then it was made of he fights the Hulk with the adamantium really? yes really? he fights the Hulk and like holds back this the Hulk guy. Eddie Mar- Marston I can see it could be he's short oh, though oh okay yeah yeah that guy uh, from I, um, what's what's the third Hot Fuzz movie? What World's End? World's End. He's in he's that. In that yeah. one. And he's in Atomic Blonde. Have you seen I that think movie? so. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good movie. It's, it's on HBO. I've been watching. Um, I have final thoughts for the movie. I mean, we've touched well, for my first viewing. This, is, this lives up to the <laughs> hype. Still my favorite. <laughs> my first viewing. I do love that, what was it, episode 18 was Tim's first guest appearance, and it's now 65. 65. That's well, nuts. I think this is I feel 64. like that wasn't even that long, though. That was this winter, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was cold out. It was. <laughs> yeah, that's funny, though. Um, um, we're coming, I mean, we still got a couple months for a year, but... You're rolling through them. Yeah. Um, still one of my top villain arcs. It reminds me of Mr. Freeze. It goes from good to bad. And then back, almost. Mm-hmm. You could argue that he does go back because no one really gets hurt at all. Yeah. For being like, oh, he's going to blow up half the city <laughs> to, okay, he dies. He dies. That's And that's it. Yeah. I like it, though. I mean, no one... I, would, I mean, no one... Re- we could recast him. <laughs> he could, he could <laughs> definitely redo it in the MCU. Yeah. Because he doesn't exist in the MCU yet. It, it no. speaks. I think it speaks volume, too, because he's... I think if I'm ranking Spider-Man's villains, he's not top five. I don't think. I don't, From the animated show, he's animated up show, there for he's, me. For me, oh, really? and, oh, yeah. and this. Okay, fine. Is he top three? Venom. No, Venom. Green Goblin. I don't even think I put Green Goblin that high though. From the animated? Mm. That's all. Every other episode was it. Put I, my top three would be Venom, Craven, and then Doc Ock. I'd be Venom, Craven. Craven's definitely up. Craven's Craven, up he's there. Definitely I, the I, I want them to redo it in Electro. I didn't like the Electro. From, um, uh... I don't really like Jamie Foxx that much. But I like Jamie Foxx, Fox, but I didn't think he was not a good... Even with, that movie even was with Jamie Foxx's ability Ooh, to... Rhino's up there for me. Rhino. <laughs> Dude, Paul Giamatti is Rhino. I still have dreams about that. <laughs> I'm like, Sandman's a good... Give it to me. Sandman's a good... I just read a comic about... With between Spider Man and Sandman, Sandman. he's a, he's one of those where you, if you want to get emotional, Spider Man, right? You can the use... lizard, he's up there too. Oh, yeah, you know, like, and now you're getting into my he's like next a, segment. Spider Man <laughs> might have the the best rogues for Marvel. Yeah. Um, I didn't. You have my it, list, is it? Yeah. Let's jump into that. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Let's go to rankings. Say, yeah, for yeah. final thoughts, it's. Fantastic! It's yeah. probably the best superhero movie bef- before the before MCU. the movie started becoming popular. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. X Men Two is up there. Well, even still, that was what two thousand seven, eight. No, that was like two thousand two. I think it was before this one. It's it, it really puts in perspective. Like, just Google movies that came out in two thousand four, and then put this next to it, and you're like, wow. yeah, <laughs> you know, wow. wow. <laughs> All right, um, all right. So we're ranking. We've ranked the Spider-Man movies before. Tony put Spider-Man Two number two, even though he'd never you know seen it. And you know what? You know what? It stays up there. It's, it stays. I'm Very glad. Part of this whole experience. Um, Blindly reading. So we're just gonna rank anything Spider-Man. Um, any kind of Spider-Man. Any movie. kind of Spider-Man. Uh, my number one is the Spider-Man Two video game think- off this movie for PS2 or. I think it was on Xbox original, but it was like one of the one, first open wonders. world superhero movie yeah. first games. Did it have the training facility where it's like all grid? That was one. Okay, then that's... yeah. Okay, two like you could do whatever. You could go and save people, and there's always stuff happening in the city. And then you still got to follow the movie as well. Mm-hmm. Like the last boss was Doc Ock Doc, in yeah. the in the harbor, but it was just a great. Great game. I'm live revising my list as we talk. <laughs> uh, number two, the 90s animated show. Uh, I think I watched this that, and that Batman. Theme, that theme song is. Yeah. It just, it was, I, I still can picture it. Like, I think I picture that, it better I, than Batman. When I picture Spider Man, it's the animated. Yeah. yeah. Like, do you, you remember when he had now? six, when, he's, yeah. when he had six <laughs> arms? 
he turned oh, into a spider. When, oh. when they went, uh, was it Madam Madam Spider? Mm-hmm. Like that whole thing, I'm mm-hmm. insane. When he, yeah. yeah, when he turns into the alien spider, yeah. that'd be a Just, fun fun show to work on. I think you know, like any like Batman or Spider Man cartoon, but yeah. really anything's like you can cameo anyone. Right. Yeah, you, know, you like, could put in like a poster in a wall that no one's ever going to see, but it's like it's there. Yeah. <laughs> It's yeah, and you could get anyone to do the voice. Really, there's like less complications with casting actors. I think yeah. Be, yeah, yeah, it's awesome. Um, and then number three would I, I would say the movies like, but Spider Man two and then Homecoming just because it recreated so like it just brought you back to when this movie and the first one came out. It and brought just, back all yeah, the feelings about it. Yeah. yeah, and they just did it so perfect for I don't know this day and age. Uh, number four, the Miles. I I was like fighting over myself on what comic book line to do because I was like, I love Craven's Last one. Hunt. Like that, oh, was, that a was a great one. Uh, and then I was like, uh, do I do a Venom one? <laughs> but uh, I landed on the Miles Morales. It's like you know so much about Peter Parker, and he, now he's dead, and Miles has got all these new like uh, powers and stuff mm-hmm. that just brand new, and you still get like Scorpion and some of the classic villains. Um, and then the, the last one is the Spider-Man Legos. Uh, specifically the ones I had growing up. I had the... Remember the, like the movie set thing? I had the camera. It okay. was like all uh-huh. of Spider-Man 1, and, but it was like behind the scenes mm. Legos. It was really <laughs> weird. But it was awesome. I, uh, I remember had... playing with those all the time, though. That's what, I mean, I think it was like two or two years ago, maybe. Billy, my fantastic co- cousin Billy Gavin, got me a, a Spider-Man Lego. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, it's like the, uh, the cycle and the car, the nice. spider car. Yeah. It's really, I'm like, hi, you know, I'm 25 years old, <laughs> but I am hyped. <laughs> I am hyped. You know, I am so his, excited. I actually think Billy put it together. So I was, I, uh, I was looking when I was googling this. I was like, I was like trying to find the ones I had, and I was just going through. I was like, man, I really want to buy some of these now. Yeah. Like, add to cart. Add yeah. to cart. <laughs> to cart. <laughs> this episode cost me two hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> um let's see my number one this is so cool. when i saw this i wanted to add it. I was like, so I, the uh good. the spider-man web shooters that had who, silly string who canisters. did not have these oh, it was so <laughs> i got hit with the biggest blast of 90s nostalgia <laughs> when i saw you wrote this i was like Oh my god! It was the perfect I, toy. I think, I think I got it as a present at one of my birthday parties where I had a Spider-Man themed. Theme, oh, and someone came dressed up as Spider-Man. If I have pictures, I might. It was probably at Jeepers. I got <laughs> Jeepers before it went became a cage match yeah. every weekend. <laughs> what? Yeah, haven't you? Okay, we're gonna take an aside here. Uh, <laughs> Jeepers is now like I'm, I'm go amazing. bananas. Oh, okay. yeah. In Norwich. Yeah. yeah, right. And every weekend the cops get called there because <laughs> oh. a family's just too I thought it, out, it was like an MMA. They like, did. What's yeah. going on right now? Let's go. <laughs> what are we doing Doing this? It could be like, oh, no, I'm it's... sitting next to a decommissioned roller coaster <laughs> and I have two guys beating the crap on each other. Like... No, it's like the families and stuff. Yeah. Like that. Oh, yeah. Are that still open? Go bananas? Yeah. What? It's crazy. Knock off Chuck E. Cheese. Knock off Chuck E. Cheese. Uh, my number two is the PS2 game. I think I was one is the one that I what really you liked. Were playing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then now I haven't played it yet, but the PS4 game. I, w- I cannot wait. I think I saw who the last boss fight was. Don't say it. I- <laughs> do you want? Do you want to hear something crazy? The that game came out, and for the first time in months, it was the like. It topped like Fortnite on. Oh yes, yes. people. Did you people see how many? Streaming it like crazy. And did you see got, how many uh, the systems they sold? It was like ridiculous. It's, the, it's they, gotta oh, be. Oh, of the the special ones. Yeah, the yeah. special ones. It's, 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 it's their fastest reviews. selling game. Yeah, outrageous. in years. Yeah, and the fact that people are streaming it and people are watching it. Like, if you're watching a one person, like a, a single player yeah. game, yeah. like like I do that because I'm I would, weird. But. I would watch it, but <laughs> like I want to ruin thousands anything. and thousands and thousands play of it. right. If you're gonna play it, but yeah, it, it must be good. It yeah, be I've only good. seen the first hour of gameplay to be honest. And then <laughs> some random video linked. Oh, final boss fight, and it was it was a picture. It was of the it person I was like grinds oh, my so. gears. <laughs> yes, absolutely. It's fine, that guy. Um, number three is all the uh, Spider-Man costumes, like all the different variations. And so I like the first three Spider-Man ones: the uh, black suit, 
and three. not so much as from three. Yeah. I like it. at the time. It's like, oh, okay, yeah, that is cool. A black suit one, um, and then just the Venom suit in general, and all like the different costumes. Yeah, and then Homecoming suit, Homecoming and suit, like, Amazing Spider-Man, the two that he has. That one, they're just all. That was a big deal when they came out with the eyes and uh, yeah, oh, Homecoming man, that was awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's a big deal. I was getting goosebumps when I was watching <laughs> that trailer. Oh my god. Um, and then number four, like you said, the animated series. Uh, that's pretty much what I watched growing up. Yeah. Like, one of the villains, too, is that no one ever re- remembers now is the Smythe guy in the in the ship. The floating <laughs> the floating wheelchair, basically. Alistair oh, Smythe. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy with Kingpin. Yeah. Who, God, like, yeah Kingpin people... was a huge part of he... that show, too. There were so many villains. There were. That's what I'm saying. You could do anything. Chameleon. You know, like... Oh, yeah. That was a good one. The Shocker was another. Yeah. I mean, granted, they had him in this one, but. They yeah, had but both he was versions. like a main. Yeah. The Shocker nod was such a nice touch in the new movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it was subtle enough, but it was like, yeah. okay. They put it in there for the, for us, basically. Yeah. And then number five, just all the movies in general. Getting actually to see. Spider Man, <laughs> Spider Man Two. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, I guess I haven't seen Spider Man Two before until a couple hours ago. <laughs> a couple hours ago, fantastic. All right, and I'll quickly go through mine. Uh, we touched on, uh, my number one is the merchandise, like the merch. We talked on it, the web shooters, the Legos, like toys. Slap yeah. a Spider Man logo on it, and like I'm interested. Yeah. Like and a Spider Man backpack and stuff. I like, think that really like keeps it alive, and it bridges the gap between like little kids and people who have been Spider Man fanboys forever. You know, I was, like I could be walking down the street like wearing a Spider Man shirt, and like like a, a younger generation will be like, I I have. Yeah. A Spider-Man shirt too, or yeah. like you know, Spider-Man's on my wall. They'll put it on Jim. Sh- they'll put it on anything. anything. And I think it's cool. I don't know. I think one of the three Marvel Funko Pops I have is Spider-Man. Yeah, I, I think it's out it's, of all my DC. Of I was, all of, I, I think I have any more. Uh, maybe one or two. I have Iron know. Man, uh, Deadpool, and Spider-Man. Of all of the superhero merch, Spider-Man's maybe, definitely up there. I think it might be the top. Maybe, maybe Superman. Maybe I don't know. You know, Batman. It's, it's Batman. Not, you know I think Batman would be close second. I, I would, it would be close second on just the number of stuff it's on. Yeah. Like I would comfortably popular, say if it was it was Spider Man. It's got to be Spider Man. Lunch yeah. boxes and just yeah. upper, like backpacks and t shirts and <laughs> hoodies and whatever. Basically, what? every, anything back to school is yeah. you could yeah. throw, just slap a sticker <laughs> on. Like, yeah, for sure. Uh, number two is the villains. Talk about that. I think yeah. he is an, an amazing villain. Rogues, yeah, Rogue's Gallery. Venom, Goblin, Carnage, Vulture, Craven, like Electro, you name it. They're like, it's a great yeah. villain, you know. It's like, and and none of them, I don't even think like like Batman is the Joker, you know. Like Batman's got villains. Batman's got like, like he, who's who's his the one. He's got like, a lot in that camp, yeah. you know. Where it's like, and they're all good. Sandman and, and, and yeah. Doc Ock and it's I don't think he has a, a nemesis I don't know if that's a good or bad uh, thing. Gr- Green Goblin maybe. maybe would probably just be the closest Close. Venom Venom but no one's on there. Joker status that's what I'm saying yeah. right yeah no they're all yeah. pretty much equal right or or even Superman like like I mean Lex he has Luther, a, like yeah. he has the Sinister Six that team up solely to destroy <laughs> him like yeah. Batman doesn't have they don't I mean. Legion of Doom's like they fight the Justice League. Uh, right, like, it's all of them. Yeah, not just, but not just Batman. Yeah. yeah. You, oh yeah, you're right. Then. Yeah, he has Sinister Six that solely <laughs> tried to destroy him. We hate you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I put Mysterio. Spider-Man One and Homecoming for my number oh, three. Mysterio. Like, oh, yeah. that's a good one. Spider-Man One, just because like that's we I talked about it last time I was here, and then Homecoming's like the most beautiful, perfect reboot. We had to go through some rough patches, you know, Andrew Garfield. <laughs> but uh you know See, but I liked him as I liked the first one. It wasn't bad. I don't like any of them. The lizard was Toby awesome. Toby Maguire was a good Peter. Right, but you're talking about the villain. You're not talking about Andrew Garfield. <laughs> as Movies a just is only as good as its villain. <laughs> skateboarder high school kid. Yeah, they didn't make him like a good He was Peter. a good Spider Man. What the well, they were trying to and make then, him like that hipster nerd. Yeah, it just doesn't work. Weren't you and then the social network? Tom Holland's just <laughs> weren't you in the social network? <laughs> uh, and then I I put number four like just his persona in general. I feel like it's like goofy and lighthearted. And again, I think that's why it has a a, a wide range of appeal. It's and not he's, like yeah, a, he's a kid. Batman right. or like 
I don't know. Like it's always like you can't really turn it dark. I think, and I, I there's it's, something about that. The darkest that's like, would probably be Gwen Stacy, right? Like in that line, of right? Movies. It's yeah. not as dark as Batman, and Batman has his place, but like. It's he's a unique character in that sense where he's always because he's a kid. You know, yeah, he's like yeah, exactly he's a kid. Right. He's not Captain America and he's not Superman, but he's like he's aspiring. He hits right, his own yeah. he's, he hits his own niche, niche, yeah. whatever you want to mm-hmm. however you want to pronounce it. And then niche. number five, I just changed it. Marvel I, I, versus I just Capcom. saw that. That's a great change. <laughs> oh yeah. man, that's such a good game. I, <laughs> that's such a. Uh, I, here's our my plug Marvel Capcom. Like get at me because I gave you a ton of money. So <laughs> Percentage back, like you can give it to me in quarters if you want. But if I had a tenth just to of, play more, if I had a tenth big, of those big quarters gold back, coin bags, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and there's the time man. But I mean, I could buy a, a like a a new car with the amount of money I <laughs> they pumped into that. those consoles. Oh, and they were in every single arcade, and it was like, oh yeah, there. Were- it was it was one of those games. It's hard to pick who you want to be, just because it's like I want to be everyone. Because you're looking at the list, you're like, he's cool, he's cool, he's cool, he's cool. Every <laughs> single person. It's such a good game. Wolverine was my go-to. He had to be on the team. I was just. I think it was just. I, I think like, I always picked Cap. Cap, because he could throw a shield. I think. From I what just, I can barely. I was remember. in it for the experience. I it just was never. I never picked any Capcom player. <laughs> no, it was always Marvel. I, mean, I was like, who are these other guys? <laughs> Mega Man. I knew Mega Man. That was yeah. it. That's a consistent theme. Yeah. So, I'm just going to skip the Capcom guys. Okay. I would I would also throw up there the Marvel Lego game. Did you ever play that with no. Spider-Man? Oh, it's great. He's I haven't started team. playing it. So. Uh, and then, uh, fuck, what was it? They had an X-Men, like, Ultimate Alliance or whatever. Like, one of the older ones that had Spider-Man on the team it was great. Yeah, it sounds... I kind of want to play Marvel vs. Capcom right now. I feel like... That's uh, no. we need to find a copy of that ASAP <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> All right, looks like that's been our show today. Hope you enjoyed it. You can follow us on social media and our website, timandtonytalk dot com. And remember, share this with your friends. And make sure to join us next week for the Mild Manor Movie Review, where we discuss Split. Split. Same bat time, same bat channel. Thanks for listening. I'm Tim, and I'm Tony. Good night. No, I'm, I'm Tim. Tim too. <laughs> I'm I Tim guess. too. Tim, Tim too. Special guest yeah. Tim Gavin here as well. And we are yeah, the three it's amigos. Great to be here. Thanks for having me. We are the three amigos. Good night. Cause I'm TNT. I'm dynamite. TNT. And I will not fight. TNT. How long? It's long. It's like an hour twenty. Hour and a half. You can always come.